Now, a couple of years ago, I did a video on how to deal with resizing images in WooCommerce. I've got almost 27,000 views so far. It ranks number one in Google for this particular search term. However, there's a problem with it. It's out of date, and the way that you actually deal with resizing things has changed inside WooCommerce. So today, we're going to take a refresher and take a look at how we actually go about resizing and doing all those kinds of good things with images inside of WooCommerce. Hi and welcome, my name is Paul C, this is WP Tuts, and this is the channel where I help you get more from WordPress. If you'd like to learn more about WordPress and all the things you can do with it, hit that subscribe button now and smash that bell icon to be notified every time we release new videos every single week. Okay, so let's jump into the dashboard of WordPress and take a look at how we go about actually resizing images in the later versions of WooCommerce. So we're going to jump back over into the dashboard. You can see this is what we're seeing at the moment on the normal sites. We've got these images set to one to one. Everything looks pretty good on there. Let's just jump into the dashboard itself. And what I'm going to do is come down into WooCommerce and we're going to take a look at the settings. Now, previously, we had a tab inside the settings that allow us to go through and customize the images. However, that's no longer there. So how do we go about actually resizing these images and dealing with the aspect ratios, the cropping and all that kind of thing? Well, now it's been moved. What we need to do is come over into the actual customizer for WordPress and the theme. So what we're going to do is going to come to the appearance tab. We're going to come into customize. Now, it doesn't matter what theme you have installed. You should still have a tab in here for dealing with WooCommerce. Now, I'm dealing with Ocean WP. That's the theme I've got installed. But like I say, it doesn't make any difference because we're going to end up with a custom tab in here just for WooCommerce. So if we take a look on the left hand side, you can see WooCommerce is one of the options and we're going to open that up and take a look at the settings. So once this loads into the customizer, which seems to be taking a little bit of time at the moment. So there we go. There's our page there for our homepage. We're going to come into the WooCommerce section and you can see we now have a range of different options. What we're interested in is the product images. So we're going to click on product images and you can see that gives us a range of different options. It now loads in the customizer, it loads in all the settings and it also opens up a WooCommerce store page so we can see when we're making changes to this exactly what's going to happen. Now this is broken down into two distinct sections. The first is the actual main image width and the thumbnail image width. The second is the actual cropping. So the first thing we can take a look at is the actual width of both the image and the thumbnail. Now you can see these are predefined. We can change these to any value we want. And based upon the cropping section underneath, that will dictate the value of the opposite side. So in other words, if we set the width to 600 and we set something like a 16 by nine ratio, we might end up with something like 600 by 300, somewhere on that kind of ratio. Now, if you remember in the old version, we used to be able to set both the width and the height. This is a more kind of versatile way of working without us needing to kind of calculate what we think the opposite side is going to be for the height. So what we need to do is make sure that we set the width that we want for both the main image and also for the thumbnail. Now these are referenced in different parts of the site. So you're going to find that the main image is going to be when you click on a product itself. So if we go in and say we want to view the product. That's where we'll see the main image. Whereas we're taking a look at the moment, we're taking a look at the thumbnail, which is a smaller version based upon actually viewing all the different products on a page. Now, so once we set those values in there, the next thing, probably the most important thing when it comes to setting things up to look consistent is the thumbnail cropping. Now, at the moment, this is set to one to one. So what that basically means is if you have a width of 600, you're going to have a height of 600. And the same goes for the thumbnail. A width and a height will both equal what value we set in this position. Next up, we've got custom. We can click on there and you can see what we can do is we can set an aspect ratio. So it's worth bearing in mind that whatever value you set in the image width for both the main image and the thumbnail, that will be the 16 value in this example. The 16 is going to be the width. The nine is going to be the height. Now you can see from the examples we've got on screen at the moment where it's updated itself, you can see this is now using that 16 by nine aspect ratio. If we set that to something else, let's just say we set this to four by three, which is going to be the old aspect ratio we would have seen on old TVs. You can see after a couple of seconds, it updates and shows exactly what's going on there. Now, what this is going to do is this will say the image will be cropped to a custom aspect ratio. This is something you need to bear in mind. The image is actually being cropped down to that aspect. So if you don't want that to happen, you want your images to remain uncropped, then you can choose the uncropped option. And you can see this will display the images using the aspect ratio in which they were uploaded. Now, this is something that if you are creating images for your online store and you can create a template and all of the different images you upload will always use that same template. You could use uncropped if you want to. That's going to give you the perfect end result based upon what you upload it to. Again, taking into consideration the values you set for these main width and the thumbnail width.
So that's just something to bear in mind. But that's how easy it is now to go in and update and change both the widths and also the cropping and the thumbnail aspect ratio that's going to be used throughout your entire store. Now, if you ask me, this is a much simpler way of working over the old version that did seem to cause a lot of problems for a lot of people that they didn't get the results they were expecting when they started getting in and tweaking and configuring the different values. This is much easier. Now, speaking of being easier, if you want to learn more about WordPress, WooCommerce and all those kinds of things you can do, check out the videos in the corner right now. They're going to get you up to speed with getting more out of WordPress. As always, all applicable links are in the description below. And my name has been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts. Until next time, take care.